The human eye is a specialized sense organ that has the ability to receive visual images. These visual images are then transmitted to the brain. If we observe the horizontal cross-sectional view of the human eye, it reveals some major parts of the eye. The eye consists of three layers of tissues, with the outermost being the fibrous layer. This layer maintains the shape of the eye. The cornea is also present in the outer layer of the eye. The cornea refracts the light rays entering the eye. Uh, it is convex in shape. The middle layer of the human eye is the vascular layer. It is called the vascular layer because it supplies blood vessels to the eye. The middle layer contains the choroid, ciliary bodies, and iris. The choroid is of a chocolate deep brown color. After light enters the eye, it gets absorbed in stimulating the sensory receptors present in the retina. The ciliary bodies are a continuation of the choroid in the anterior direction and contain ciliary muscles. These ciliary muscles are attached to the lens through suspensory ligaments. The lens present in the eye is also attached to the ciliary body. The iris is also present in the middle layer of the eye. It is the visible part of the eye and varies in color among individuals. The iris is located behind the cornea and in front of the lens. It divides the anterior segment of the eye into the anterior and posterior chambers. These chambers contain fluid secreted by the epithelial cells of the ciliary body. The iris is a circular structure that contains pigments. Uh, the color of the iris is due to these pigments. At the center of the iris, there is an aperture called the pupil. This is the part of the eye through which light enters. The lens is the structure in the eye that refracts the light rays entering the eye. Its thickness is controlled by the ciliary muscles. The innermost layer of the eye is made up of nervous tissue, which contains the retina. The retina is a very delicate structure present in the eye. Uh, besides being light sensitive, the retina contains some cells known as cone and rod cells. These rods and cones contain pigments that convert incoming light rays into nerve impulses, which are then sent to the brain. In terms of blood supply, the eye receives oxygenated blood from the ciliary artery and central retinal artery, while deoxygenated blood is drained through several veins, including the central retinal vein. Light enters the eye through the cornea. The cornea is a curved layer located in front of the iris and pupil. It serves as a protective covering. After passing through the cornea, light enters through the pupil. Uh, the pupil is a black dot located in the middle of the eye. The iris surrounds the pupil and controls the amount of light entering the eye. When the surrounding environment is dark, the iris allows more light to enter the eye. Conversely, in bright surroundings, the iris restricts the amount of light entering the eye. Behind the iris is the lens, which changes its shape to focus light onto the retina. The lens changes its size through the action of ciliary muscles. To focus on nearby objects, the lens becomes thicker. To focus on distant objects, it becomes thinner. After passing through the lens, light rays are focused on the retina. The most sensitive part of the retina is the macula. The macula contains millions of cone cells. Due to the high density of cone cells in the macula, we are able to see visual images in greater detail. The photoreceptors in the retina convert images into electrical signals. These signals reach the brain through the optic nerve. Through cone cells, we can identify colors and visualize objects in detail. Rod cells are responsible for night vision and uh, peripheral vision. Rod cells are present in greater numbers than cone cells and are highly sensitive to light. So we hope that through today's video, you learned about human eyes in details. Before you go, don't forget to check out our channel, Science Animations, for more such videos.